Hey guys, I thought it was time for a Helios update. Uh, what you see here is the original Helios that I built and um, I've done work on another version. Uh, this is just a really quick uh, test that one of my students did. Um, he, uh, we made this little angled skate for it to sit on that we could motorize and we blocked off the um, the Z so it doesn't move up and down so we don't we're not actually using the Z right now and um, So we'll print an angle we print these angled layers and then we just roll a little bit and then print another angled layer uh, This is one of the first tests. Um, you can just see I'm just printing triangles over and over again so I can get this you know big long print and I, I didn't even bother like figuring out how to start it right. I just started printing triangles and then eventually fixed itself. Um, eventually I'll just, it can work with the slicer. I just have to work with it a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and um, and we haven't got anything where we, where we can, um, you know, sense where the table is yet. Um, I mean, we have that code, but we haven't integrated it all together in one package. <clears throat> so, uh, this is this is just a kind of a basic prototype that my student threw together for a science fair project and uh, I thought you guys would appreciate uh, seeing that we're still working on it and we're moving along um, this <laughs> arguably looks very ridiculous but uh, once we build a purpose-built one that rolls um, I think it'll be uh, super sweet. Uh, it'll be a lot more compact than this. This is really tall. There's a big electronics box. Everything can get um, squashed down quite a bit. And um, and my goal is to put it in a backpack so you can just bring your uh, printer in a backpack, throw it on a table, put some blue tape down, and hit go. Um, maybe even throw some lithium ion batteries in there. <coughs> And um, it's it's better for this thing to weigh more, actually. So um, a ton of batteries would actually be a good ballast for a printer like this uh, to keep it um, to to be able to allow the printer to move faster and faster, and not have um, the dynamics of the arm actually affect the print. <clears throat> Anyways, um, that's about it. Oh, oh, I guess I can talk about some of the problems we have. Um, you can see here's the nozzle. Um, whenever it comes down here close to the table, you can see it just barely is able to squirt plastic on the table without the, the heating block uh, rubbing. <laughs> and we're only at 20 degrees right now. And 20 degrees works, we could do less, uh, but with this printer as it's uh, configured right now, we're only getting about 100 millimeters of height out of our uh, prints. Um, this right now, it's, this one's only about uh, 50 millimeters high, uh, but we could go up to, um, up to 100 if we want with what we have right now, and uh, we can go Oh, how wide was that? I want to say about 150 wide right now, and we could design to make this all a little bit better. This is just with this uh, this other non-purpose built um, um, scar arm just slapped on there. So I think we could probably, you know, squeeze this to get about 200 wide prints by infinite long by 100 high without getting purpose built nozzles. If we get purpose built in the nozzles then um that are really pointy we could probably get a sharper angle and if we could get something like 30 or 45 then we could easily start getting like 200 high millimeter prints <clears throat> so that would be sweet uh, but I'll, i usually don't print anything super tall but i'm guessing if we're going to do infinite this way then we want to go as tall as we we can so, um, you know, anytime you increase one dimension, then people will want the other dimensions to grow too. So I think, I think, I think, you know, 200, this, uh, 200 this way is fine and probably 200 high would be great that, um, and then infinite that way, that would essentially be, um, pretty much like the same dimensions of the Prussia except infinite in one of the dimensions. Um, well, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the update. 
Um, I look forward to uploading some other ones in the near future. Thanks.